Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 51. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for a, another championship. This is our final stream for three weeks now. So I assume episode... I think episode 46? will have been out by the time we start streaming again. So, we genuinely won't have many videos in backlog after I get back off my trip. So, we'll have to ramp up the Forza content again. But uh, we're going to start off with the Toyo 300 horsepower runoff. Um, we're taking the BMW i... Uh, the BMW 135i. So, it's BMW 1 Series. Starting off with Ladera Test Track, then Sedona Raceway, Mugello... Sebring and then Iberian International Circuit. All right, here we go. This is it. Zim Zima. Who got the keys to my Beamer? Uh, we have actually upgraded the rear bumper. So we've got a slightly different rear bumper on this than the stock car. I believe it's just the, the uh, diffuser that actually gets modified um, to a twin exhaust rather than a single exhaust um, as well. So, it, it, it's not any different. So, the car pretty much looks the same. We've also got those vents on the side skirts. Uh, again, it's not too much of a change. Could be worse. Um, in terms of performance, it's stock engine. Because this car comes with 300 horsepower exactly. So, therefore, it's pretty much on the limit in terms of legality for this actual event. Because it has to be 300 horsepower or less. So... 300 is right on the limit. Um, but we have done the first weight saving thing. So that's like spare tire. Um, fuel, uh, the tire pump, whatever. Basically unnecessary stuff. Stuff that can be removed without pulling out screws have been taken out. Um... I think that saved about 80 kilos. Or 80 pounds. I'm not sure what this game measures in. I want to say kilos. Because I think this went more towards the English style of measurement. Miles an hour and English weight. So. Um, but along with that, we've got better gearbox. So the gear changes are faster. Uh, much, much better brakes. That's about it, really. There really wasn't much room for um, modification, that's for sure. Windmill, windmill for the night. Meow. Forever love is free, you and me. This song's a classic. Feel good. Ha 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 ha! I am going to, uh, when, when I get back off my trip, before we start streaming again, I'm going to see if I can wire up some... Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to see if I can um, rewire my PC fans. See if I can take out my case fans altogether. Because, to be perfectly honest, with how my setup is at the moment, I don't think they're doing anything. Because I've uh, opened up the side panel on my PC. I just think it's cooler. Uh, it's easier for cleaning. 
because I can see that it's dirty and I'll clean it more often. Um, not bad. Back of my leg is stiff. I need a massage. Just push out all the knots that's in in my muscles. Half this chair's fault. This chair is really crap. I need a new one at some point, but I also need to figure out what new one I would end up getting. So, that's also a problem. Whoa! I just realised I've nearly had this uh, layout for my setup for almost a year now. I definitely prefer the layout this way, I'll be honest. Zib Ziba, who got the keys to my motherfucking Bieber, bitch? <sighs> Probably need a can or two or three of Red Bull. What am I going to do for dinner? Probably do like a toasted wrap thing again. So easy to make. You just cook some chicken, shove it in a wrap, put some cheese in it, a sauce, fold it up, grill it with a pinch of salt on the outside. It's bloody amazing. Hot tea, grilled cheese thing. Not bad. Coolio, 12,000 credits. And we're up to level two already on the car level. Uh, yeah, it says BMW Motorsport. That's why I thought it was going to be the M1. Fair enough. Uh, we now have a 30% discount on driveline upgrades by BMW Motorsport. And we got a 30% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by BMW Motorsport. Nice. Alright. Oh, I love the BMWs. Honestly, I would love to own a 2008 to 2014 BMW. Any BMW from that range, I would love. Because BMW made some really nice cars then. My dad actually used to uh, own... I'm not sure what it was. I think it was a BMW 3 Series, but it was... Was it a 320D? Um, it was basically a diesel BMW, but it had their Eco Dynamics. I think that's what they called it. Um, package, which basically meant it was more economical and... It would more often than not... Um, 
pretty much uh, drop all, all the revs when you lift the throttle. Um, it was pretty cool. Oh shit, we're not going straight on. It was close, but no cigar. <laughs> I might have to see if I can find a picture of that BMW because it is a nice one. It was a very nice car. Nice slide. Cha cha, real smooth. Beep 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 beep. Go to work. Bam bam bam. I need to figure out a way. Oh oh oh! Actually, I don't think I've told this on uh, stream yet. Chat. I've put down my pre-order for Steam Deck. <laughs> I've been going on about it for like two weeks non-stop saying how much I really want a Steam Deck, right? I've finally put my pre-order down. Because when the Steam Deck first came out, it wasn't that exciting because like nobody really got their hands on it. Nobody was allowed to do much with it. But once people got their hands on it and realized how much they could actually do with a Steam Deck, it's just... Honestly, amazing. Like, I'm not even fussed if, oh, in six months' time or a year's time, they release Steam Deck 2. And I can't then afford it. Because this Steam Deck, the way that it powers through um, old school emulation and PSP stuff, stuff like that, it's a no-brainer. I obviously ha thoroughly enjoy my PSP library. So, to be able to run those, again, no-brainer. <coughs> but yeah, it's only just recently that I realised, actually, it's I've just got to go for it. So hopefully, within the next, uh, they say before Christmas, I should be able to order mine. That doesn't mean I'm going to get it for Christmas. But we shall see. Because at the moment, I'm in the Q4 window. So that's October to December. Would be nice to get it before Christmas. But we'll see. <laughs> Good old Swedish house mafia. Come on, go! 
We're a little bit slower than our last lap. You can definitely tell as cars have gotten sort of old, like newer and newer. Not newer and newer. As newer cars have come out and been released, they have. You can see dramatically that they've gotten heavier. Like the weights on all these cars have gone up like crazy the past few years. I mean, we're looking at an average car of around 50,000 pounds is weighing around about two tons now. And producing like 400 horsepower. That kind of money before would have been a car that weighed 1,400 kilos and would have produced eh, maybe 350 horsepower. So less, but you know. It's very strange to see the amount of weight that car manufacturers are adding to their cars now. Um, we got a 30% discount on valves upgrades. Ow! I just punched my microphone. Not ideal. Here we go. Miguelo. Oh, my neck is stiff. Everything's stiff. I can't wait to just go on holiday and relax. Go by my shirt and tie. Need to access all areas. Work on my chat up lines. So give me the girls, give me the girls, give me the beach and the sunshine. Yeah, I'm on a mission. Trying to get it all out of my system. What a tune. It's all thanks to Dirt 4 adding this song to the game. But I know it. I think it was a menu song, actually. It was one of the menu music, but it didn't have the lyrics. But I think the lyrics are actually a good part of this song. Like, a lot of times when you hear a good instrumental in a video game, the lyrics sort of are like... Ah. But no, the lyrics in this song are really good. Not too bad. This car's beautiful. I'm gonna have to find a really good way to capture the beauty of this car for the thumbnail. really weird right whenever you look at any video games or anything like that there's always people at the tracks and the tracks feel really alive they feel active they feel in use and all that whenever you look at top gear like i remember top gear coming here for a, it was either top gear or grand tour came to this track to do some laps i can't remember what cars it was but i remember it and when it's 
when there's no one there, it genuinely looks like deserted. All of these racetracks, whether they're in use or not, it's kind of eerie. In fact, kinda is an understatement. It's very eerie. We got the Lotus behind us. <laughs> At least we're out of those really slow car. Ah, oh, no, never mind. The next one is the Class E post 03 Asian Tour, which I believe I'm going to take a Honda Civic for that one. Depends if we do a vote. Why is this race got to be so long? Go, go, go! Come on! Keep it going. Yeah. Much better, lads. bad. I can't even remember what game Banquet was from. Hmm. 
my god, that car in last place really loses a lot of steam throughout a lap or a race. Yellow done. And we got 16 grand for that. 12,000 XP, not quite a level up. Alright, here we go. Seabling. Lotus. Okay, what is the Lotus doing? A little more nimble when it comes to the um, tighter corners, that's for sure. You're not making it easy for me. Somehow I got squeezed past. There you go. Result. I want to be your contact. Excuse me, I see for play. Oh, I'm under steering like a bitch. Flick, flick, flick. Flick, get these split. Deathwish, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? But then there, but then there, but then there. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Motorsport 3 is a very good game. 3 and 4 are very close. But yeah, this is uh, probably... I'd say Motorsport 3 and 4 were probably the best racing games that ever happened on the Xbox 360. If I'll be totally honest. Some of the best racing games ever. Yeah, it's very good. And then you compare it to uh, Xbox One, where pretty much none of them are really good. <laughs> Actually, I lie. Project Cars 2 is a very good racing game. But that's sort of a lot better on PC than console. But, uh... So yeah, um, my Steam Deck pre-order is, well, it's pre-ordered. If anyone at Valve is listening, please get me one for October, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I know they're done in order, though, based on when they get them, so...
beep beep. Coming through. Hey, where are my lights? Should have turned on by now. I was wondering why my face looked pretty pale. Well, not pale, the opposite of pale. Red, I said. <laughs> it looks out of the ordinary. sort out my uh, Forza spreadsheet to make sure that my uh, progression is up to date because at the moment my spreadsheet says 45% but we are past that stage I'll look and see where we're actually at Yeah, that's why you don't drive one-handed. <laughs> uh, 46.36%. Not bad. It's a good percentage. Pretty much get 50% of the game done before my break and 50% after. Just uh, hoping mathematically that we get the game done before Christmas. Should be able to. Somewhere. Eh, 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 Bing, bong, bing. We haven't quite caught up to the back of the pack, which is kind of a disappointment. If you are watching this on Twitch, by the way, Feel free to type exclamation mark YT. I have a YouTube series of this game going on at the moment. It'd be great help if you could drop a subscribe over there. Ah, there's the lights. And if you are watching this on YouTube, when it does go live on YouTube, uh, drop us a follow on Twitch. because we are trying to hit a thousand by the end of the year. There we go, 13,000 credits. And 20% discount on displacement upgrades. Nice. All right, here we go. Round. A wheel spin off the line there. Mm -hmm. 
what I'm looking for. Jesus. Sliding around these corners like we're on ice skates at the moment. Actually, to be honest, ice skates would be fairly decent on ice, so... It's like road tires on snow. That's a pain in the ass. Right, four more laps to go. It is managing to take some of these corners quite nicely, actually, this uh, BMW. <laughs> I sort my chair out after this race so I can feel a little more comfortable. I might need to order a new capture card at some point. Better one with more bandwidth. I'll probably do it after uh, Motorsport 4. I think we'll actually catch up with last place. Completely 
through in that corner. Overshot my braking zone and everything. Reminding me One more lap and I may have caught up with that last place car at the end of it. Not too bad, 30 grand. We also got 9700 XP. Ooh. Now how much bonus do we get? 24 grand I'm predicting. Hey, spot on. 24 grand worth of bonus credit. Not bad. Good prediction. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.